Hello everyone and welcome to another video. My name is Francesco and what I do in these videos is break down productivity tips, tools and techniques to help you move forward with your productivity. Oh, this you crazy mother... So, in this session, what I want to do is run over an application that I was recommended through Reddit. And for those who don't know, um, there's a productivity community on Reddit that is really solid. So I'm going to include a link in the description for you guys to kind of explore it. I think it's really valuable. People share some great tools there. People share some great comments and actually allow you to kind of delve a bit further into these sorts of apps and techniques. This app is called Chaos Control, and I'm gonna include all of the information in the description, but essentially it's an iOS application. Um, it's very simple to use. Uh, it looks quite confusing when you kind of enter it, but essentially the idea is you want to use your projects to define your goals, so you can have all of the kind of missions you've got going on. You can plan your kind of tasks and orientation around that, and then specifically plan your uh, day, uh, associated to those tasks, which is quite cool. And then of course, uh, stay on track by uh, kind of organizing all of the stuff there. Uh, okay, so you've got your chaos box in the top left-hand corner. You've got your daily plan. You've got projects and context here. So what this app does is it allows you to add tasks, monitor projects, and kind of clearly define your goals across your day. One thing that I wanna show you first is a daily planner. Over here, you've got a list of tasks that you've kind of added to it over a certain period of time. So these are some of the default ones that come with it. But if I wanted to add a task like test uh, this app, uh, what I simply do is I can, you know, I can add a memo to it. I can add a, you know, what folder it goes into. So if I wanted to have it in chaos project, uh, but if I wanted to get it done today, then I can specifically choose today. Um, add a bit of context to it. So if I'm gonna do this in the office specifically, I'm gonna choose that one. And then maybe I can choose a reminder for it at the time of event. Um, and as you can imagine, it goes on to today. Uh, what I can do is I can visualize at any time anything context-wise inside the task. And then I can tick it off meanwhile and see all of the completed for that day. So this is a really nice kind of panel view. It kind of looks like Fantastical uh, meets Todoist. Up here, you can see uh, your kind of calendar as a whole. Uh, which is quite nice, uh, but a good way to kind of go through all of your tasks. I did see an app very similar to this called Daily Notes recently, um, but as you can imagine, Daily Plan is actually a good way to kind of coordinate all of your activities. As you saw, I put uh, that kind of activity in the Chaos Box. Now, Chaos Box, I believe, is an area where you kind of can chuck a heap of tasks in. It's almost your kind of yeah, main task that you need to focus on. Um, a good opportunity for you kind of to organize that, uh, which is really beneficial. The projects are quite interesting. So you can have specific projects and see all of the tasks inside them. Um, you can even you know delete all of these projects if you needed to from up here. Um, but what's nice is in the kind of demo, you can see that they've clearly coordinated out the task. So I could change uh, this task to be called um, uh, complete a marathon. Complete a marathon. Marath. Sorry, my spelling's awful. And it kind of is a bit more holistical, a bit more kind of project focused. Context over here, so you've got all the context points, which is quite valuable. Um, I can see all of those, you know, office tasks. And as you saw there, that that, that one brought in through there. Um, and then useful, as I've mentioned in other sessions, when you're kind of coordinating everything. So that plus button down there actually means you can add a task or a project or even a context. You simply tap that to get that option. Down here, there's a sync button. But the one thing that's different about the sync button is it's actually involved in Chaos uh, Chaos Control Premium. Premium is three ninety nine. You get web access. You get Mac apps. Mac apps. You can get Mac access, uh, Android, and reoccurring tasks as well as Padlock uh, too, which is quite a valuable setup. The other things to consider about this application is that the user interface. Whilst being very simplistic and easy to follow, and, and, and it does follow very much the GTD rules, it doesn't look that appealing. I mean, it does a good job at kind of putting itself out there as a good GTD, 
good, really simplistic application for those looking for one. However, I'm not too sure whether it's in going to win any design awards anytime soon. Um, down here, you've got the settings page, which allows you to add any settings. Down here, you've got search. It's a very simplistic task management application, a good way to organize projects, any tasks. I'd really recommend it for any kind of business owners looking for a kind of, if they've just read uh, David Allen and they're kind of looking for a good way to organize their uh, tools, I'd either recommend this, Todoist, even Wunderlist in some extent, as well as other ones like GTD Next. Uh, but as you can imagine, I only see this as a very GTD focused application, but something to consider when you're looking for your next task manager. Anyway, guys, that was a quick video on Chaos Control. I'm looking forward to doing some more videos in the future. Uh, this is going to be hopefully a few more like this, these sorts of videos where I just kind of overview an app quite quickly, but a way for you to understand what's out there. Anyway, guys, that's everything for today. I really appreciate all your subscribes, uh, recently subscribes. I really appreciate all of your um, effort you're putting into watching the videos. I really appreciate your subscriptions recently. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, um, I don't only put up to-do um, to -do list kind of apps. I put up a lot of different storage apps, different note-taking applications, calendar, and all those kind of applications kind of suggest a lot of stuff to follow and a lot of things to kind of go away and look at. So anyway, guys, that is a review of Case Control. I'm looking forward to doing more videos. Make sure to have a great week, keep productive, and I'll see you guys very soon. Cheers.